Welcome back to The Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. Let's quickly look at our second conversation with a new financial uh, card introduced by the federal government. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, announced uh, the introduction of National Domestic Card Scheme, which is effective January 16, 2023. The move is aimed at promoting stability, inclusion, growth in the financial and payment system, and will be delivered through Nigerian Interbank Settlement System, that's the NIBSS PLC, which is in the country's central switch in conjunction with Bankers Committee and other financial ecosystem stakeholders. The card scheme was also expected to foster innovation within, always expected to foster innovation within the Nigerian domestic market, while enabling African and international inter Communities allowing banks and other institutions to offer a variety of solutions, including debits, credit, virtual, loyal, and tokenized, tokenized cards, among others. The bank also said that uh, domesticating the card scheme would further enhance data sovereignty, enabling development of locally relevant products and services, and reduce demands on foreign exchange. Nigeria has now joined a growing list of countries, including India, Turkey, China, Brazil, as leading examples, which have launched domestic card schemes and harness the transformative benefits for their respective payment and financial system, uh, particularly for the underbanked. We're now being joined by an economist, uh, a specialist, Ubona Ukuku. Ubona Ukuku, if you can hear me, thank you for joining us. Ubona Ukuku, can you hear us? Well, uh, I think that we seem to have lost connection with Obona Ukuku or at this point in time, unfortunately. But uh, I, I was just hoping that we would have him and so we talk about what this means. You know, what, what does this really mean uh, for us as a country and how does this affect us as an economy? Uh, what are the pluses and the minuses, if you like to say, in all of this? But... Uh, Unfortunately, that's not. Uh, Kofi, what are your thoughts? Nigeria seems to be joining <laughs> <laughs> the world. China, Brazil is on the list. We're, we're doing great things in this country. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I have no, uh, no idea <laughs> what exactly um, this, this domestic, national domestic card scheme is meant to achieve. And I was hoping that our guests would do justice to that. But all I can say is that, um, you know, Nigerians are... Um, uh, would look at this with a with um, a hint of suspicion. Okay. Yes, a hint of suspicion. You know, with a that's that's natural penchant to doubt and suspect everything government does. Why not? Do they want to take more money from us? <laughs> Are they going to tax us more? I mean, you, you transfer money. You transfer money to me. Mercy, we can do a practical now. Send me some money. Don't. Don't no, get me paid. No, no, let's do some practical. Send me some money. Just take your phone and do uh, star whatever, whatever your bank has as yours. It's the same money. You'll see that 25, at least 25 now will be taken That's immediately. Okay. Immediately. Just like that. Then it take 10, uh, 50 kobo or something like that. You know, so, I mean, and Nigerians are very patient. Because all these things are going on. People are not, are not complaining. They're just paying it, you know, faithfully. No, so the, 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 the average person on the street is going to be wondering, this um, national domestic card scheme, you know, the name sounds fancy, all right? <laughs> okay. It sounds nice. National domestic card scheme. You know, people will wonder, is this going to be another thing that's going to take more money from us? Because people are already tired of going through economic, you know, difficulties, you know. All well, right. So, well. so uh, that, that, is, that is what I can say. But it'll be interesting to see how this unfolds. Obviously, like you said earlier, they want to promote stability. They want to promote financial inclusion, you know, growth in the financial and payment system. If you look at uh, the number of unbanked people in the country, it's too high for, you know, a country like Nigeria. If you get people who are outside the financial system, it's too high. You know, having something like this will, of course, enhance the economy. Because it will make it easier and faster to make payments. It will mean that more people are interested or are in, captured in the net and are able to you know, facilitate their businesses and their processes by making payments Co Kofi, through, but, through this card. No, no, but, know, but just as I mean, so we anticipate it's, it's a noble and, one. and try yeah. to understand you know, what this is about and how noble this will be for the people, let's also not forget that uh, we haven't really been faring very well 
with the Apex Bank. And according to the Central Bank of Niger, this is an ideology or an idea from the Apex Bank. And so that's what it is. How far have we fared, you know, have you discovered mm. that it's been very, very, very difficult these days uh, carrying out different transactions with the banks? We're not doing very well. And some people think that the government feels like the people are relaxed. We need to stress these people. You know what it is to get the NIN, get everything, the PVC, I'm, 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 uh, all of I'm, the stress. Yeah, I, I just hope it, uh, it brings some added stress. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we don't need more stress. But, you know, the, the fintech sector in the country is doing so well. The private sector driven fintech innovations, they're doing so well, not just in Nigeria, they're exporting to other countries and they're ranking high as far as, you know, um, startups in Africa are ranked, you know, by, by the global, you know, uh, conglomerate. So I hope that the CBN can change its approach to Nigerian tech companies and startups who have been hounded over the past, you know, who've been given all sorts of calls, all sorts of names and to see how they can collaborate with these people to make financial inclusion a reality. We well, have to go, Mercy. Well, that's the size of our conversation this morning on The Breakfast. Uh, we appreciate your time uh, being with us from 7 o'clock up until this moment. We'll definitely return tomorrow with more interesting conversations. We appreciate you. And if you missed out on any part of it, you're just joining, it's all right to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Messi Ebopo. Have a fantastic morning. And my name is my name is Kofi Bartel. Soups, Messi, sorry. And uh, <laughs> we hope that as we're stepping out of the office, we'll not be stepping into flood. Since they said VI is part of the place in Victoria Island. Okay. Uh, we'll return tomorrow. Good morning. Have a nice day.